Hello guys, in this quick video tutorial, we will learn how to generate more complex geometries in the MATLAB DDE modeler and how to generate a proper mesh for it. So let's start. Here I have a new project and I am going to generate a geometry using multiple geometrical objects so first from here i select the draw mode and draw a circle here another one and let's set the properties of the e1 the center point zero zero two and two yes for e2 i write 10 and zero 3 and 3. Yes. Now from here, axis limits, let's select the auto range to visualize the geometry better. Now I am going to draw a polyline. So I draw a polyline and then close it, P1. Let's set the coordinates. The coordinate of the first point is 0 and negative 2. For the second point is 10 and negative 3. This point is 10 and 3. This point is 0 and 2. So, now, as you can see here, I have 3 object so the coordinate of this point is wrong this is two press enter yes so i have three objects e1 e2 and p1 right and here you can see the geometry formula e1 plus e2 plus p1 so if i generate the mesh right as you can see here, I have these external boundaries and these internal boundaries. So if I select the boundary mode, you can see the external boundaries with the red color and this is internal boundary with the black color, right? Even we can remove the subdomain borders. So how we can create two circular holes right here and here so i draw another circle e3 and set the coordinates 0 0 1 and 1 yes and draw another circle here e4 10 0 2 and 2 yes so now I have five objects and I should use the correct equation here, right? So I want to subtract E3 and E4 from the previous geometry. If I write here a negative sign here and a negative sign here, right? So we have this equation E1 plus E2 plus P1 minus E3 minus E4. But if I generate the mesh, right, as you can see here, I don't have two circular holes. What is the reason? Because I didn't implement the correct equation here. So if I consider this tree as a single object, right, here, First, I unite E1 plus E2 plus P1. Then I subtract E3 and E4 from this object. Now let's generate the mesh, right? So as you can see here, we have the correct geometry now. Yes, so the orders here in this formula is very important. So as you can see here, we can create these complex geometries in the PD modeler. So now let's check 
the mesh quality. As you can see here, the aspect ratio of the mesh elements in this region and in this region is high. What is the reason? The reason is considering the internal boundaries, right? So if I select the PD mode, as you can see here, I have multiple subdomains. But actually, this is a single object with the same material properties. So I don't need to consider these internal boundaries to have a mesh with a high aspect ratio in these regions, right? So from here, boundary move, I can remove all subdomain borders, right? So if I select this option, I don't have any internal boundary. And now if I generate the mesh, right? As you can see here, the quality of the mesh now is much better than the previous case. So yes, Using this workflow, we can generate this kind of complex geometries and generate the mesh in the MATLAB PDE modeler.